Greetings, everyone. This is the Sale of the Terror of Death 99, aka the Black Cobra. And I am back for some more. Let's play in No Way the Ninja. Now, a couple things I should mention before we begin. First thing, I'm actually a little bit under the weather today, so. If I actually cut the video, if I cut the recording short, I apologize. I've not been feeling well in the last couple days. <sighs> and the other thing... <sighs> this is not going to be an easy task. One moment, everyone. I just need to check something. All right. Mount Ochi. That's our next stop. That's our next training dungeon. Surprisingly, we're actually not—we're actually not going to stop there yet. First thing we're going to do is we're actually going to head back to—we're actually going to head to Etches in. So we're not going to be going to Mount Ochi yet. Oh, there's Yuki Asha. Hmm. Yeah, she's actually a a female Iggy Ninja. Surprisingly, there's actually another thing I forgot to mention. The female ninjas actually have higher energy points than the male ninjas do. And a majority of them actually have higher speed as well. Okay, let's take a look at Anawanos. 82. Let's see. Yuki Asha has... 98. Yeah. We're not going to be able to enter Azuchi Castle until way later in the game. That's our last area, believe it or not. Anyway. Let's see. Ah, here we go. This is what I was... This is what I was looking for. The Shurukens. Let's see, anything useful here? Oh! Uh, hello! Hello, Fireblades! Those are gonna be helpful. Actually, not gonna give her you the um the fire blade. Main reason why is because we're actually gonna be parting with him after the next dungeon. Okay. What we are going to do is we're actually gonna get. A fire blade for Rio. We also got one for Arawano. Yeah. 
Yoshi Blade. We're actually not gonna sell the Yoshi Blade. It's gonna be very useful because we can actually use speed. Speed up, that is. Let's see. Let's see, what can we sell here? A pointed star. Okay, yeah, we'll sell that. So one of the body healers. Let's see. There is actually telling you can actually store some items, but we're actually not gonna be able to access it just yet. Okay. Fire staff, don't need that. Talisman? Nah. After we complete Mount Ochi, that's actually where we can get at. After that, we can actually go to pretty much any town we want in the entire game. The towns of... Setsu and... Oh, what was it? Um... Satsuma. Satsuma. Those are the towns we're going to be heading to. Very... Those are going to be very helpful. Ah, Mandala. Okay. I'll give that to Haru. Give him a... Fire blade as well. Actually, no. Actually, give him the shuriken. Now, we are going to be heading to Mount Ochi, but not yet. We are going. What we're going to do first is we're actually going to head to Sado. Okay. Before we do that, though, just checking something. A spy. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Kozuke. I should have got some items at the casino. I will actually show you what you have to do here. Let's see. This is actually something I forgot to show. Enter Rikusen Castle and gather information on their army. Reward will be 9 out of 10 gold. The amount of gold you actually get depends on your level. The higher your level, the more gold you actually get. Alright. Now, what we're actually going to do... First, I want to check something. I so many Tango Wings I have. I don't think I have too many. I have enough. I have three of them. Alright. Alright. I'll show you what you have to do here. First, I'm going to do a quick save seat. Rick Eerton. I think we can actually get Tango Wings here. 
Yes, you can. Okay. Alright. I'm actually gonna get a couple more. Alright. Now, here's what you have to do. Now, one thing I should mention before we do this. If you actually get a job as a saboteur, and you actually mess up, it'll actually cost you one day. Spies, though, it won't. Ah, screwed up. Okay. Ashina Moritaka. Moritaka Ashina, I should say. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Give that to Ottawano. Let's see. Anyone in the inn? No. we got here. Okay, we use that Tango Wing. Head back to Etrigo. Okay. Okay. We are gonna ha we are gonna be doing some battlefield battle uh, fights a little bit later on. Most likely, though, that's not going to be... That's probably not going to be happening until later on. Ah, Hanzo! In interesting fact! Hanzo... I should say, Hanzo Hor... Hitori... was actually a real ninja, believe it or not. He was actually an ally of the, uh, later on, the person who would actually become the Shogun of Japan. And no, it was not, it was not Nobunaga. A lot of people think it was Nobunaga, but it was not. Look at that level, level 28. 118 max energy, 212 max health. Yeesh. Don't even try fighting him early in the game. He will absolutely slaughter you. And he's not kidding when he actually says, I will destroy you in seconds. No joke. Alright. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to head to Sato. I'll actually show you where that is. That's actually north of Etrigo. And you're probably wondering why we're going to go there. Well, I'll show you. Now, for... First thing we're actually gonna do is heal. And do a full full heal. See at the end. Okay. Now I'll actually show you what you what we're gonna do. First thing. Gold mines. Mm. 
mine caved in. Here we go. We're actually gonna head into the gold mine. Eh, we don't need to deal with this. Here we go. One thing I should mention, these enemies are not easy to defeat. There is a boss fight here as well, so I would definitely be careful. Especially when fighting these guys, the Iron Peds. They can do a ton of damage, plus they're immune to magic, just like the Fire Foxes in Mount Otake. Actually, no, Mount Ozor. Oh, uh, these guys, the snake, the Sado Vipers. Yes, they can poison you. some pretty decent experience. Eh, about 400... About 415 experience. Not bad. Oh, the Psycho Slugs. Ah! Iron Peed fled. Damn. Just one Iron Peed can actually give you 432 experience. Actually, pretty damn good. Let's see what we have here. All right, ah, a few psycho slugs. Eh, not too, not too hard. a lot of hit points. Eh. Not too hard, though. Five hundred fifty-two experience. Very nice. The Arm Bandits, by the way, actually give you only 10 experience. I wasn't kidding when I said, don't fight the enemies outside of the dungeons. So they give you very little experience. I wasn't kidding. Okay. <sighs> and we'll take out the cycle slugs. As 
aside from the boss fight, the, the only enemies you really have to watch out for in this dungeon are the Sado Vipers. If you have antidotes, though, then you shouldn't have to worry too much. I actually have purge magic, so I'm not too worried. Two hundred six experience, not bad. The boss fight in this dungeon is actually pretty damn tough. Okay, cast purge, and we'll have her use one as well. There we go. Let's see what we have in here. Nice! A ninja cure! That actually restores your top... That fully restores your hit points. Heliocranius. I hate this thing. Fortunately, this dungeon is actually, actually not too difficult. Can be a little confusing, but... Eh. Ah, the Frost Beasts. These guys can be tough. You actually fight two of them with the boss fight. Aside from that, then... And not too difficult. Oh, nice! Level up! Not bad, not bad. 662 experience. Let's see. This way. Ah, an iron peed. Got it. Level up for Automano. Her you should gain a level as well. Yep. Okay. Nice. Oh my god, I forgot they can use that. The poisonous venom. Yeah. That's the other reason why I hate fighting those guys. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oh. 
That is annoying. And I am out of antidotes. Now, I've heard you use it this time. There we go. Frost Beast. Those Frost Beasts, they, they can actually... They can be pretty tough. Good luck in defeating three of them, though. Majority of the time they run away, as you just saw. Not bad, though. 864 damage. I mean, experience. Here we go. Avenging Spirit! Yeah. This guy is not easy to defeat. Even if you have some of the best equipment in the game, this guy is not easy to kill. Ow! don't want this guy actually getting a critical hit on any of your characters. They'll be dead one shot. There we go. Suzuki. Huh. Didn't expect him. Ah, eh, we'll just run away. No need to fight him. Don't need to fight these guys either. Indeed. 
Sadly, that's true. It's a little thing called greed. Just heal up. Okay. Heading back to Etchison. I'm actually gonna cut the video off here. When I come back, we're actually gonna take on Mount Ochi. Don't go anywhere, I shall return. <laughs>